Welcome, my name is Terry Mercer. I'm the Director of Product Sales for Girl Scouts of Central Maryland, and today we're going to go through a deck on online database systems. There are two GSUSA licensed Girl Scout cookie bakers, ABC Bakers and Little Brownie Bakers. Each Girl Scout Council independently negotiates and signs contracts with the baker of choice. For 2014-15, GSCM will be in year two of a three-year contract with ABC Bakers. Other than supplying the cookies, the baker also supplies the council with online reporting and sales tracking systems for troops. This is called SNAP. The council will upload registration data from Personify, including troop numbers, troop leadership, girls' names, and membership ID numbers. Troop cookie managers and troop leaders use the online system to inform, plan, calculate, track, order, and report everything needed for a successful cookie sale. Its use is mandatory. GSCM will only honor troop and girl sales entered into the system. So what should be entered into the system? The troop leadership contact information, including names, addresses, phone, and emails are stored in the SNAP. Troop banking information is stored and used for GSCM's ACH withdrawals. All registered girls in the troop who identified as cookie selling girls. The troop selects their options for early bird, opt out, initial, and main reward orders. Girls' individual initial sale will be entered and then it automatically calculates the troop's initial order. Troops can add additional cases for booth sales to the initial order before submitting. Troop orders for initial cookies, initial order girl rewards, additional cookies, and main girl rewards are ordered through the system. The system also will list, find, and secure booth sales for a troop and links to the national cookie locator. You can place planned orders to cupboards for additional cookies through the system. You can record parent payments for cookies and track debt. You can transfer additional boxes to girls for booth sales. You can transfer cookies from troop to troop. And you can check the snapshot for daily information to help plan strategies and see where you are in reaching your troop's goals. And reports, there are many, many reports with options of text, HTML, Excel, and PDF format options. Here's some important things you need to know. The database is report driven, so there are multitudes of reports which can be viewed in real time, anytime. Reports can be viewed in many different ways by filtering either by the troop or by the girl. The database is preset with calculations. Therefore, once a troop completes the troop information page, every transaction entered will auto-calculate based on that selected choice. The database is preset with opening and closing dates for various phases in the sale. The calendar, which is housed on the troop snapshot page, will notate the dates certain aspects of the program open for the troop data entry into that section. So for example, the booth selection section won't open until after initial orders have been submitted. The system also has hierarchy access to the data, so service units will see more information and have more access to reports than troops do. The same goes for council level users. The system allows for edits. However, once it is submitted, it takes a higher level access to release it for edits. Girls' initial orders cannot be changed once the initial order deadline has passed. The main rewards section won't open until late in the sale as girl rewards are cumulative for the entire sale period. The system also has pre-calculations set for the troop proceeds based on the troop information criteria, settings, and the box volume level obtained. Once a troop reaches the increased proceeds threshold, the system automatically calculates back to the first box sold. The system has preset calculations for girl reward levels and the items associated with each level. Once a girl is assigned boxes at any given level, the system automatically assigns the reward items 
set at that level to that girl. Entering data by the deadlines are critical to ensure accurate reporting and awarding of proceeds, girl rewards, and weekly recognition. So how can you learn more? The Council will offer six in-person SNAP troop level training sessions. Please look at the timeline for the dates and locations of those specific trainings. The Baker also has training videos for each section of SNAP posted to their YouTube channel. Please visit them at abcsmartcookies.com and click on the YouTube icon to find those training videos. Links to the SNAP trainings are also provided in the Troop Cookie Manual, which can also be found online at the Girl Scouts of Central Maryland website under the cookie pages. So what about the girls? We have something special just for them. The Cocoa Cookie Command Center. So we are going to welcome you to the Cocoa Cookie Command Center for the girls' virtual office in their largest girl-led business. Customers order nearly twice as many cookies online, and Coco is the faster, easier, digital way for girls to reach high goals. What can a girl do? She can set her goal on how many packages of cookies she wants to sell. She can make plans on how she'll reach her goals. She can check her progress along the way. She can send e-cards to friends and family to tell them it's cookie time and ask for their support. She can print her cookie orders for the Troop Cookie Manager to then add into the SNAP system. She can visit her Troops page in Coco for important messages from her Troop Leader. She can see what her friends are doing and even send them cheers along the way. Girls still must deliver cookies in person. So are you ready? Let's get started. Simply go to abcsmartcookies.com, click on Coco and sign up. Don't forget, Coco is mobile. So download the free app for your smartphone. Coco training videos can also be found on the abcsmartcookies.com website on their YouTube icon. And remember, it's always best to work online with an adult.